This is a tough job. The lifestyle is crazy. People think you made it once you get there, and I'm far from that. To be a fighter, it takes a sacrifice, you know, dedication. I have to get up early in the morning, every morning. Uh, even if my body is just broken down, I'm sore, I'm tired, I don't want to do it. You know, you have to do the things that you know you should, even when you don't want to do them. It's just a, a nonstop grind, and I, I put my body through hell, and I do it six days a week. It's just something you have to do in order to be the best. You know, I'm trying to build a legacy here, so I'll run my body through hell in order to be the best. I have the, the work ethic. I think I, I have the talent, but I also have the, the will to win and the desire to win. I came into Uriah's gym back in 2005 when he first opened it. I was just taking the classes, and then he invited me to the, the pro practices, and, and Uriah has an eye for talent if you look at the history of the team and what he's uh, built. But I know what I'm doing. I'm moving here, which is half a punch, half the shot. Right? So I'm here, boom, and I'm bouncing back out with my knee. I've always been a guy that's, that's giving motivation and preaching about the things that I think are important and showing little tricks, but we've got a whole team of guys that that are getting these guys tuned up, the pit crew, to send them off for war. And, I mean, it's cool being a little part of that, but it's, there's a bigger picture. It's great to learn from such a good fighter. He's a great mentor. He gives back to the team and the community. I've worked my whole life for this. It's been a grind for me for over a decade, and it's uh, finally paying off now. My vision for my career, we're right on track. I got into this sport because I want to be a world champion. I will be a world champion. A lot of people, they're just content with maybe making it to the UFC, stepping their foot in the octagon, going 0-2 out, and they can say they did that. That means absolutely nothing to me. Like, there's only one thing that means a lot to me, and that's having that world championship belt. Little more, little more. And that's what I'm gunning for, and, and I will get it. So we have this conditioning class. It, it kind of touches on mobility, postural strength. It's always a game of recovery, and so we got to make sure that not to overload him which he's probably on the brink of that. He pushes himself harder than anyone else. So coaching his recovery is just as important as coaching anything else. Get there, bud. Come on. Get there. There we are. That's 1,076. How are we doing? Come on. I think conditioning is key for me, so Russ brings a different level to my game. And uh, if I'm in tip-top condition, I don't, I don't see anybody beating me up. There's no one that's going to beat me up. I don't have time to be built up or climb up through the ranks slowly. I want to get in there. I want to fight the best. I believe I'm one of the best fighters in the world. I just want fans to know anytime I'm on the card, I'm going to be the most exciting fight, and I'm going to look for the finish for everything.